Uh, this is Alex with Student Drivers. Um, sorry for the posts lately, the, the lack of. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you know that there's been a lot of things that have happened um, in my life that have um, taken a turn for the worst, unfortunately. So, unfortunately with that, the content suffered and, you know, on, I kind of had a step back. Um, and there's, there's a lot of things that I'll be making videos here soon of, like, some changes that have happened and I was kind of forced to do. Um, my wife's health had um, deteriorated pretty bad after having a... Uh, at it getting the J and J vaccine, so um, luckily she's stable. Um, we are working through some of the kinks, and uh, we are getting her back to being able to walk again without going into too much detail about what her health situation is like right now. I don't care if any political stance on it. Unfortunately, my wife was affected, and that's quite frankly the most important thing to me at this point. Um, so. Yeah, um, but I did want to make this video to guy let you guys know that the, oh, let me adjust this just a little bit. Perfect. Um, that I, the channel is changing, or going to be changing quite a bit. Um, more on the actual cars are actually changing. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, um, you already know what that change is. Um, and I actually prefer the change. Um, it was needed more because my wife was having a hard time getting in the car uh, based off all the stuff that had happened and for financial security um, I had to I'll just say it I had to get rid of the Evo um, I also got an offer for the car that I could not say no to it was a lot of money for honestly what the car was worth um, but the car itself, as everybody knows, had a lot done to it. And a brand new motor, transmission was perfect, um, new ETS turbo kit, all that was done. So the car is no longer here anymore. Um, I'm going to be making a video about the replacement, uh, which I am very stoked for. You might even be able to tell just by the inside of the car um, that right now I'm, I'm in it right now. Um, and it's by no means a, um, a downgrade. In a lot of ways, it's actually an upgrade. Um, and it, I'll, I'll give you a hint on it after the mods we're going to be doing. It's going to be a low tens, potentially high nine car, um, very consistently too. You could probably see the little paddle shifter right there. Um, I'm no longer driving a manual, um, anymore, uh, due to some, just being comfortable. I need, I needed my wife to be able to get in and out of the car fairly comfortably. Uh, the Evo was also very, very rough, um, I even uh, got rid of the GTO as well because, uh, like I said, I needed that financial stability and security, and I needed the cash to pay for some medical stuff. So, but other than that, the content is still going to be the same. The platform I bought, I'm going to learn every facet of it, and Evo content is still going to be coming through. Um, I want everybody to know I'm probably going to pick up another one, but I'm not going to do a start from scratch kind of situation again. Um, I'm actually looking to once everything settles down in my life, I'm probably going to end up buying a, um, I, I'm leaning towards nine. I'm probably going to actually do a pull when I'm actually ready to pull the trigger. It's either going to be a nine or a 10. Um, I'm personally leaning towards a 10, but I want to see what other people want, want on the channel. I think the 10 is a much more solid start, um, than anything else. And honestly, a lot more reliable for the horsepower goal of like 800 to 900 wheel horsepower is what I'm going to be shooting for uh, on the car when it, when we're ready to go that route. But in the meantime, that's all on pause um, unless I find some stupidly good deal that somebody wants to sell me um, that's already built making that power from a reliable source. And of course, it's, I want the car to be clean. This is going to be... Um, this is going to be my the showboat car that I've always wanted. Um, and I, I just decided, you know, my, my last Evo was a lot more of a, it was, it wasn't everything I've ever wanted out of the car. It was, it was a great car. I made that car into an absolute animal. Um, and, uh, it was, it was fantastic. Um, and I'm still gonna, it might pop up on the channel here. There's a guy who bought it actually is really cool. He's going to be driving down and I'll do be doing some revisions on the tune here. Um, it might even end up being given to English racing and they're, he's going to go full, full build on it. And it might end up being like a thousand wheel horsepower monster here soon. So that car is on to bigger and better things, probably going to be doing more than I ever could to it. Um, 
And yeah, super cool guy. I'll probably put his Instagram in here so people can follow the car if they still wanna watch it. Um, it's definitely had some changes already done to it. Um, and yeah, that car is a closed book on that chapter. I'm excited for the next chapter we're going to. It's definitely different than what I'm used to. Um, the car has freaking a heated steering wheel and <laughs> it has butt warmers in it, which I didn't have any of that stuff in the Evo. It's got the full on crazy sound system I've always wanted. Um, it, it's got a lot um, and it is supercharged. So that that's a whole new animal for me too. Like it, it, it responds like a Tesla, it's just boom there. So I'm not gonna give any more cause I'm already getting excited talking about it and I've already modded it a little bit too. So we'll, I'll show you guys what I did, um, but I think you'll love it. Um, Gene is still part of the channel. Uh, he's uh, He's slowed down a little bit on content. He's going through a similar situation with just overall health in the family kind of positive, but we're going to start shooting for each, both of us are going to put in a video a month uh, for now. And then once things start to pick up again, and we feel like we can do more with the channel. And maybe if I get an Evo again, um, because I know a lot of people here always have questions about Evos and they, they, they come to the channel for this. We love all cars, even though we make fun of them. Um, <laughs> we, I'm, I'm all about learning the new platforms. I became too comfortable with the Evo platform, so I'm gonna take a break from it for a while and then hop into this one, and then we're gonna make this a crazy car um, that'll stay as a good daily, but also it'll be a it'll be a highway missile um, is kind of the goal for it. Maybe we'll, we'll shoot for the record for quarter mile for this platform is what another thing I wanted to try doing. So other than that, um, I appreciate every single one of you. Um, and just so you guys know, I know there's a lot of haters out there um, on the comments. Just so you know, I don't pull any punches. If you say something stupid on the channel or leave a stupid comment, I'm coming after you. Like, that's just who I am. So um, I've, I've touched every bolt on my Evo. I know everything about it. Um, and if you wanna challenge the knowledge on it, let's go for it. You can ask questions all you want, but at the moment you get nasty, I'm happy to throw it back at you. So don't be a little butt hurt little baby if I come, at, come back at you. <laughs> but in the meantime, thanks again enjoy the channel um and then leave like subscribe do whatever you want um and if you have any questions of course always feel free to instagram me uh any messages i'm always happy to help subscribers if they're having any questions on their cars i'm still still pretty knowledgeable when it comes to the evo platform and i'm still going to be doing some tuning stuff like i have a i have an evo 10 right now we're tuning that had a similar setup to the my my previous evo so um yeah other than that thank you like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.